Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be comparing some aftermarket VP E85 fuel blends against regular pump gas E85 and see the difference that they can make on the dyno. I'm joined with Kyle here from VP Racing Fuels. Kyle, why don't you run us through our, what we're gonna be testing today and, and what we have in front of us here. Yeah, X85L. So this product is a pure, consistent E85 fuel, but it's for that somebody that wants to add lead to the mix, that wants the extra detonation protection, that wants the extra lubricity, and just wants to be able to run a little bit more timing. But as you know, ethanol fuels, they have a greater uh, latent heat of vaporization, so they pull more heat out of the air than typical gasoline mixtures do. Uh, it's more evident in carburetor applications uh, just because air draws through a carburetor. On fuel injected applications, it is still evident. It's just not as noticeable. Um, and that's gonna be the case with all of these fuels. X85L is probably one of the lower tier fuels that we've got sitting here. Uh, I'll move into this next one, which is gonna be our X98. This is gonna be a 98% ethanol mix, which is gonna be uh, have a higher oxygen content. So that's the thing with ethanol fuels. Ethanol fuels have oxygen. That's how they make more power uh, in addition to the latent heat of vaporization. They, the oxygen content actually introduces an oxygen compound and you can burn more gasoline. So we're gonna be testing that one out. And this one right here, this one's actually one that's overseas, isn't really available yet in the United States, but I'm working on it for the company. Uh, we're trying to get it approved here for domestic use. Uh, we call this one V2 currently, but it will probably be called X85R. Uh, it is set up for more uh, combustion additives for uh, making a little more power uh, than these pr previous two fuels I've talked about here. So we're gonna see how that one reacts to this engine on the dyno today. And lastly, this is Mac Daddy right here. This is, without a doubt, this one's gonna make the most power out of all four of these that you see sitting here. This is C85. A lot of you know this fuel, it's been around for a little while. This has got nitromethane in it, and it's also got MTBE in it. So uh, it usually, we usually see about a four to five percent power increase based off your current engine power configuration numbers. Uh, so if you want to go to a track day or a half mile event, or even drag racing or street racing, we won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a great fuel for any of those spirited combinations. driving. Yeah, spirited driving, and it's always in Mexico. So. Uh, but so to recap, basically we have four different blends. This is very similar to regular pump E85, but it has, lead, has added lead for detonation resistance. This is X98, so instead of 85% ethanol, it's 98% ethanol. Correct. This is the special sauce that yeah. we don't quite have yet, but We're it's, it's on an it. experimental. Yep. And then we have C85, E85 plus nitro. Yes, that is Super correct. Super cool. Yep. So the motor on the dyno that we're gonna be using to test these fuels is a 13 and a half to one compression 441 cubic inch LS7 based combo. It's going in a C6, Z06, and is gonna be freaking awesome. We've already ran the engine on pump E85 in the previous intake testing video, so you guys already know how much power it made. If you haven't seen that video, go to my channel, and it's the one that we uploaded right before this one. So the engine already made 731 horsepower on kill on pump E85. So we're gonna start with the, which one is this? X85L. X85L, we'll put it in the system. We're gonna run each of these fuels in the stock tune-up that the motor currently has in it for pump E85. So let's say you just bought a pail, you're at the racetrack, your tuner is a couple hours away, and you wanna know if it makes more power, we're gonna test that, and then we'll optimize the fuel ratio and the ignition timing to really maximize the power that the fuel can deliver correct. with its kill tune-up. That's correct. Yep. Alrighty, yep. let's start making some noise and making some power. There we go, making power. If you have any questions about your engine combination and would like any assist or advice from me, schedule a call with me on Tazit where you and I can chat one on one and figure out what's best for your setup. guys really interesting and cool stuff so the blue curve here is just regular pump e85 from our local shell station red curve is the x85 l from vp racing fuels and this is with absolutely zero fueling or ignition timing changes same tune 
all we did was throw the fuel in. And you can see it picked up torque basically everywhere. And then at the very top was just trading blows with the pump E85 for peak horsepower. But this fuel is really designed for somebody who wants the ultimate consistency. This fuel every time is gonna be exactly 85%. You don't need to worry about testing it. And with the added lead, it has so much more anti-detonation um, resistance built into it. Now we did try maximizing the X85L's tune-up. We added timing, we removed a little bit of timing, we added fuel, we removed fuel, and we really weren't able to make it any better, which is kind of a cool thing because that means you can just take it straight out of the pail, dump it in your hot rod, and know that it's gonna make the maximum power it can, which is still higher. I mean, this torque curve, is it's making more torque than that pump E85 did right around peak torque too, which is where peak cylinder pressure is. So that could be that anti-detonation resistance finding us a little bit more, or unlocking us a little bit more horsepower. All right, we are done with X85L. We are now going to X98, which is 98% ethanol. Same thing, we're just gonna throw it in with no tuning changes. We'll see how much power it makes, and then we'll optimize the tune-up and see if we can unlock any more. Okay, really interesting stuff. So red curve here is pump E85, X98 is the blue curve. Now, because X98 is 98% ethanol and not 85% ethanol, the untuned swap for swap is basically trading blows. It actually is losing a little bit of power up top. Now, we did not change the tune at all. We just dumped it in the fuel cell and fired it up and made a couple hits. What's really cool though, let me take off the pump and add, when we did tune it, we were able to unlock about an extra 10 to 15 numbers across the entire board. We richened up the mixture a little bit, it allowed us to add a couple more degrees of timing, and the motor responded. We're now up to 742 horse and 660 torque. So, X98, 98% ethanol, does make more power, but you do have to get your car tuned to take advantage of the extra ethanol percent. The next fuel we're swapping in now is VP's new special sauce, their V2 blend, and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, here is the Dyna results from VP's V2 ethanol fuel. Now, we're just doing this testing for them. Um, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to talk about what this fuel is or what it has in it just yet, but we can still show you all the results. And so, starting out here, this is our you know regular baseline pump E85, and we just dumped the fuel in the fuel cell and made a hit after uh, letting the closed loop correct a little bit. Lost a little bit of power up top, gained a little bit of torque down low. Kind of interesting. Now let's go ahead and take off regular pump E85 and show us the tuned version. And we were able to pick up quite a bit. We were able to add one degree of timing and we richened up the fuel mixture and it did pick up power. So this fuel you might see on the market later this year, maybe early next year. Um, if you do see it and you remember this video, just know that it does make more power and hopefully by the time it comes out, VP can talk about a little more about who it's for, what it's for, and um, why you should run it. So anyways, we're now draining the fuel cell of this fuel, and we're putting in the Mac Daddy C85, which is race ethanol fuel blended with methanol and nitro, I believe.
Okay, some really interesting stuff with the C85 here. On the red curve is our regular pump baseline, and the C85 is in blue above it everywhere. Out of the pail with no fueling or ignition changes, this fuel picked up 10 to 15, maybe even 20 or 30 numbers down low in the RPM range. We did try going richer, we did try going leaner, we tried removing timing and adding timing, and we still were not able to beat this curve as our baseline. So that tells us a couple things. One, it's really cool that you can just buy this fuel, pour it in your hot rod, and it will make more power and torque. Two, it tells us that this fuel has more potential that this engine isn't quite tapping into yet. On a boosted application or maybe an engine with even more compression, we would start seeing this number or the split difference get bigger and bigger and bigger as you go to the C85 fuel that has a little bit of nitro and methanol in it. Okay, after all that testing, we have our answers. Basically, long story short, all of these will make more horsepower in your hot rod. That might be why your marketing slogan is making power. <laughs> I think that's um, why. <laughs> and I think what was really cool is we proved exactly what all these different fuels are supposed to do. Both fuels that were 85% ethanol, you could throw in the hot rod without any fueling changes and it's going to pick up horsepower. This one with its 99% ethanol, 98% ethanol, we did have to richen up the fuel mixture um, and actually the extra ethanol let us add another degree of timing. Yep. That's the only one that allowed us to add more timing except for your special V2 blend. Experimental. Experimental yep. blend, yep. there we go. <laughs> this one did make more power. Um, we did richen it up, we did add timing and did really good. So again, I guess the question that I think the people are gonna wanna know is which one should they get for themselves? So I'm gonna turn that on around to you, put you in the hot seat. If you want a consistent blend of ethanol fuel that you can pour in your car and just go, this is probably gonna be your best bet. We actually sell a non-leaded version of this. This is gonna be your cheapest option as well amongst these four right here. That's gonna be your best bet. If you wanna make the biggest steam in the world, this is gonna be your guy right here, the C85. You just gotta have, you gotta make sure your fuel injectors are set up for that and make sure you talk to your injector manufacturer, make sure they've got stainless internals on them so they're not, they don't stick because this product does have a chemical in it known as MTBE and you need to make sure that's good before you go and do that. So, yep. but all these are good. I have a lot of guys that run 98. It's a very common thing now. You see at TX2K or uh, any uh, street car event that a lot of guys are running 98% ethanol because it's that just that added, ex that added oxygen content, added ethanol content that we talked about earlier. So. I gotta tell you, coming into this, since we were working with an AFSH aspirated engine, I didn't think we'd see as much horsepower gained as we actually did yep. with, this, with this fuel test, and I can't imagine how much more power we would have picked up if we were doing this on a boosted engine. So to see these gains on an NA engine, that's super impressive. Yep. I, uh, I definitely am a believer now in this C85 stuff. That was cool. Yep. And it, as soon as we would start the engine on this C85, you could tell that is not normal fuel. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Well, Kyle, thank you so much yeah. for coming out. Thanks, Jacob. I appreciate it, man. Let me uh, play with your fuels, and we'll see you next time.